Right now I'm in uh, a lovely little town called Gilbert, Arizona. It's part of the Phoenix metropolitan area. It's got about a population of around two, 260,000 people. And it has a top golf that we already went to, but also a range behind me, a gun range. And of course, as a Canadian, we don't get as much uh, access to firearms, especially certain breeds of firearm. So I thought, you know, I might as well spoil myself and uh, really embrace part of the American culture, which is to go shooting. So uh, today we're going shooting. Come along. In other news, it's, uh, it's 31 degrees above, or it's like 37 degrees already. Uh, people were saying, which is, you know, 37 degrees is what? 100, 100, 105, 110 Fahrenheit. And uh, yeah, it's hot. And um, we were talking, I was talking to one of the sales associates at, uh, at Nordstrom and they were, they were saying, yeah, we get, we get cold winters here. We get 50 degree winters. And I'm thinking it's like, that's like what plus 10 plus 15 that's nothing that is nothing because you know we get minus 40 below which is i'm pretty sure is like around minus 40 below fahrenheit as well but yeah it's uh it's cooking out here it's uh middle of october in a desert with uh with that bright thing above me no moisture i mean i got a trusty water bottle but that's it hope you guys enjoy that pun so Andre from the future here, um, I did not record the lobby and me walking up to the counter itself, uh, but the inside, the inside's very nice. It's very clean, very tidy. Uh, you walk up, there's a waiver on an iPad, and then there's a couple of racks of, of you know, related firearm accessories. And then to the left is the, uh, the wall or the counter rather, where they show off all the different firearms you can use. So at the front counter were two people you might recognize if you follow the administrative results channel. First off was Tucker. Don't go, you have to wait for the rest of the tag team. I am the tag team. That boy's a maverick. And Nick. <sighs> Pirate Nick, you son of a bitch. I would have ransom a hundred smeckles. Let him go. They're all in you right now. No. So that's them. Um, where I ended up going was to the counter, told them my case of, hey, I'm on a really huge road trip, and uh, I learned about this place from the Administrative Results Channel, and um, I'd like to try some of your finest handguns. Um, first, I wanted to try off uh, Glock 17, because that's what's the most common used in North America, or kind of the world period now at this point. Um, but that was currently being rented out by someone else. However, there was one that I was really interested in that has a longer slide, and that's the Glock 34. And you're going to see now that that's actually the first thing that I shoot. I'm just popping my American cherry right now, so Word. we don't get this in Canada all that well. No, you, you guys been pretty much reduced to sticks and stones at this point, almost. <laughs> I literally bought my, I literally got my license, was about to buy a handgun, banned it the next day. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm lucky. It's the bricks. Yeah.
just like managed to canoe it down the same hole, but I doubt that's the case. It happens. I mean, shit, probably, but it <laughs> just dealt for my own ability. <laughs> that's about. No, I think that's just one. Okay, one, two, three, four. Maybe a, a doubt. There it goes. That was about an hour and a half of some of the most fun I've had in a very long time. I got a big, a big thank you to Nick, Tucker, and Andrew from the Continental Gilbert. That was a blast, uh, literally. That was so much fun. I gotta say, like, so, also some of the nicest guys I've met so far in the United States. Uh, I guess when you come in and just kind of plead, your, or kind of just explain yourself and go in with open arms and a little bit of the, the the knowledge I guess that I've obtained from being a Canadian gun nerd um, so yeah that was that was a lot of fun I gotta say also a special thank you to the administrative results channel for giving this place as a shout out because otherwise I probably wouldn't have found out about this place and uh, that was a great time um, obviously I mean that's it might be tricky for some people to understand what the culture is around here especially if you're from places like Canada but it's a safe uh it's only going to be as safe as the people and that is the safest experience i think that's safer even more than canada so give it a shot literally uh <laughs> give it a shot because it's a lot of fun and you never know where you're going to find uh what you like unless you give it a try so that was a lot of fun and uh yeah if you guys do like this video or if you want to see more content like this give uh give this video a thumbs up or a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and i'll uh see you next time Bye.